Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards. Uh, we uh, got a new party member, Doll. Very cool, very interesting addition to the team. Definitely has some cool stuff here. The charge is really cool where I got the, uh, the rampage. So once per turn, if a uh, charge hits a target, we can do it again, which is awesome. She, she has the swap that we can swap with whoever. And then she has her own like cover that she can throw, which is super cool. Uh, nothing new on the map right now, but we've joined the resistance and are just meddling in other countries affairs <laughs> at this point. But yeah, uh, we just completed the lockdown. We got the train heist and we are back to seeing what they need from us now, I'm assuming. But yeah, let's move right along. We do have a plan. One shot to throw a wrench into the war machine before it rolls out. And we need all the meat on the streets we can get. So if you want to be some extra gristle uh, in the chapel meat grinder, when we hit them tomorrow night, you're in. You sell it well. <laughs> I'm not a recruiter. I'm a symbol of vengeance and a hundred pounds of sed sedative armor. Sedenite armor? I don't know what that is. Back me up or don't. All right. Meant that in a kind or kind of playful tone, but I might have misread the room. Wait, the chapel uses Imperial? Wait, what? Are you talking... Like the Imperial system? Yes. Let's put these fuckers in the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the mission? Oh, here we go. Oh, blueprints. Sick. Chapel of the Closed Fist. That's a fucking oppressive name. Jesus Christ. The heart of their military operations and where it... And it's where the first chaplain takes strategy meetings. Oh, Jesus. That marker was so loud. There's a big gate. A thumb drive of some sort. Another entrance, I'm assuming. Uh, the agent we had in their janitorial staff was blown last week. But we believe the last recording he made is still in his dead drop inside. This close to announce... This close to the announce, uh, <laughs> there's every chance he caught the first chaplain discussing their real reasons for invading Medill. That's the one thing that might be explosive enough to derail the invasion. So we get that recording at all costs. Game plan? The closed fist is a fortress. We throw everything we've got. Oh, there you go. Two entrances. I'll lead the brute force uh, contingent to ra raise hell at the front gates. And once they move their defenses to deal with us, group two storms the side entrance and shoots their way through to the dead drop. What's this building here? Nothing. It's just a church. And these are all windows. Yeah, why? Can I make a suggestion? Wish you would. Don't waste your distraction at the front gate. They're, they're already strong there. They won't need to divert much. Even your distraction should make them sweat. They won't sweat this church. There's nothing there. Not the church. The side entrance. Send everyone there. But don't go in. You don't need to. With that many people at the weak point, the threat is enough. They'll have to defend it. Doll's eyebrows are trying to decide if Zan is, Zan is stupid. You understand what we need to get inside that building to get the recording, right? That's us. We breach the church. We breach that church, get to the second floor, then Jen can cross to the facility straight through these windows, grab the recording, and get out. 
no one even touches the rest of the facility. Hmm. Not impossible. But I can't let you take the recording. It's too important to trust to a stranger. Well, you've got craft <laughs> out in the streets. We saw you teleport. How does that work? What's the limit? Line of sight. Need a target to swap with. Range maybe 200 feet. Then you come with us. We get you to the window. You swap in, get the recording. You're overqualified as a distraction anyway. Might be the sleep deprivation. But this isn't sounding crazy yet. Interesting. I'll run it by command, but they won't love who it came from. If there's something we don't know about the situation, set us straight. But if it's a question of operational expertise, Xana's doing this for been doing this for 25 years. I genuinely, genuinely don't know of anyone clocking that much spec op experience without dying on the uh, spec op. I'll relay it. Not going to do that little sales pitch, though. That shit won't fly with <laughs> the cell. Your choice. Hmm. You had to make it about my age. In a nice way. This time. Okay. Just some church. Right by the chapel of the closed fist. Sick. I'm seeing more gunmen in here than I'm used to in a church. We're in a militarized district. We'll hit worse. What's with that golem, golden arms? What's with the golden arms? Absolvers. Chapel found a guy who can make people invulnerable, locked him up. Now they force him to enchant those sleeves with the same power. What? They're vessels? That's meant to be a once in a lifetime gift. You can't battery farm them. Chapel found a way. Last I heard, they get 20 a week out of him. That's horrifying. That's how they treat people with craft. Mid to low tier on the list with of reasons I don't, I won't let them take me alive. And let's do this quick and clean. Hey oh, what's up, fucker? Okay. Interesting here. So we do have just trackers. But these guys, absolvers, chapter was absolvers. Projects a beam of protection to a nearby ally. That person is invulnerable but not immovable. Uh, while the beam is active, cannot protect themselves. They only have two health. Ability projector beam renders an al ally invulnerable, requires clear line of sight. Okay. So how do we tackle this? Let's take a look at our stuff here. Finish with all team members at full health. Deal with all the enemies by turn one. Destroy two weapon caches. Are these the weapon caches? Destroying these weakens the chapel's stronghold on uh, Kalon and uh, in more practical terms explodes with some force. One damage, one knockback, plus one mana when destroyed. Okay. So let's go ahead and breach from here. Move across to access the laptop. Question is, what does the laptop do? Let's just see here, shall we? Use laptop? Use laptop to open the security door. Oh, is that it? Okay. So we got the security door. So if we can status blast him. That takes away his invulnerability. Then we can just charge in here. That kills him straight up. Now we can move. To like around here. Oh, this actually would explode. 
doing damage. But we can go here and then we can charge again to hit with that. Now this guy's wide open and Zan can just straight up kill him maybe after we get in. Actually, hold on. Let's rewind that and get over here. Kill him. Predictive bolt here. So they kill whoever comes in. And we got you here. You can go right here. And I mean, not much we can do with her. Honestly. I think we're just going to chill. I think that's a good turn there. Ooh. Okay. Chapel Shepherd. If they see you attack one of their flock, they'll shoot you immediately. What's that one? Slug of Justice. Shoots an, at it. Shoots at anyone who attacks their allies if they can both see the attacker and the victim. They don't retaliate when attacked themselves, but they only do one damage. So if you, if Dahl kills this guy, shouldn't be an issue, right? Because he gets shot or she gets shot, but the, the damage doesn't matter. So I can charge again, straight up kill him. Destroy two weapons caches. Now we are technically done, but let's get, let's get Jin and uh, Banks over here. And then we can, damn, we can't actually do anything here. Hold on. Can I hit that? No. So let's actually rewind here. Yeah, let's uh, go here with her. Let's just come over here, back here, and then we can throw that, blow it up, and everything's done. Perfect. Excellent. That was a good one. Interesting mechanic with those new guys, for sure. I'm coming up with the windows, but it's not the route. The route's crowded. Oh, but the route's crowded. Want to raise some hell to draw them over there? Happy to. We're outside a big fire pit. Is that important? The hollowed hearth? A rare laugh. Yeah, safe to say they'll sp <laughs> they'll send some folks to protect that. And we'll hold it till they run out. Appreciated. Look at that. Holy shit, there's so many of these fucking guys. Oh, fuck. Where's Banks? Banks is there. I think I switch Banks with Jill here. Or Jen, sorry. I think I switch. Let's redeploy there. I think that's the play. Because then... She can death door this guy right here just immediately. Knock him the fuck out. Oh, these weapon casters are huge. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, have the team use nine different abilities in one turn. Uh, knock them out the window. Okay, I could probably do those two. Um, hit six different enemies with a single spectral skull. That one's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so for now, let's breach. That's gonna alert everyone. Hello, how are you? So, I can actually hit some of these guys without uh, getting shot here. These two I don't have to worry about. Uh, let's actually see what line of sight Jen, Jen has here. Uh, with her chain bolt. Okay, so she's gonna get hit by this guy. 
But if I can get here, let's see here. So if I go here, I death door this right here. Okay. And then I sedative him like that. Okay. That's pretty good. I feel. So now we can chain lightning. He's dead. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up. Rewind it. So Banks is actually going to go there and do the same thing here. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. Okay. Then Jin... Jin? Jin? Okay, one second. Okay. So that was like a fucking hour interruption. <laughs> I totally fucking forgot what I was doing. Uh, I'm going to have to reevaluate this situation. Let me see. So I wanted her here so I could do that. Correct. I wanted to chain lightning this. I wanted to grab this intel first so I can chain lightning. Oh. That doesn't work. Okay. Well, how about this then? That also doesn't work. Shit. So he doesn't have a line of sight of him, actually. He has a line of sight of him. Will this give me a better angle? The answer is possibly. Fuck. Got one target left. I think I do it on this guy. Okay. So now I just have to clean up one, two, three, four guys. I got Jen. I got the two here. I got really nothing else to do with her. Banks. I got nothing else to do either. So Zan's the only one here that can actually do anything. He can time boost. Which maybe he time boosts Jen. And that's the play. Okay, um, and then I want to be like over here, right? I want to be like over here. So let's do that. Let's go. We do have the false prophet here, but I won't have it if I do the time boots. I can false profit and then take cover, which doesn't really help me, if I'm honest. I can kill this guy. Or I can kill this guy. I think I want to kill this guy. That's just more health I can deal with. 
I can time boost you here. Or I can false profit in between the two. Let's see if that... Okay, that didn't actually do any damage to him. And now he's taking that. So now I can predictive bolt this way. And then from here... How much damage does this guy do? Two? I can literally just transfer into him to him. Now he should kill his teammate, leaving just this guy here when he comes in, this guy here when he comes in. Oh, this guy will die, hopefully, the tracker? Is that what this guy is? He's got three health. Yeah, that'll kill him outright. And then this guy is the only guy I'll have to deal with next. These two dudes, actually. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. So I think that's it here. I guess I could resurrect, but I kind of don't see the point of it. Using one mana, it's used on a living ally. Kill them first. Revive enemies considered everyone's hostile. Are stunned for one turn. Cost no mana to red. Wait, what? Revived enemies consider everyone hostile, are stunned for one turn, and cost no mana to res. Wait, so if I res him, it shouldn't cost mana? Oh my god. It doesn't cost mana. Confused, see everyone is a hostile target. Okay. Interesting development here. I did not know that was a thing. Let's try it. Let's try it. So he's dead. Oh, he came in the... the... Okay, so he's attacking him. That's good. She's getting attacked by him. Which is bad. <laughs> uh, I can hit all of these dudes with this. I think that's the play. I think that's a good play. Um. What can you do from here, Jin? Can kill him. Oh, I can't. Oh, you don't have line of sight. But I can move. These are unsealable, right? Store cannot be sealed. Yeah. So I can move in. I can move somewhere and then I can move somewhere again. With the blast. And if is he gonna target him at all? Like if I if I go here and I knock him into him. Okay, no. That was interesting, though. Kind of a waste of a res, but also, can I just res him again? Bro, what the fuck? Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> you can stay dead. Uh, can I res him? Oops. That's not what I wanted, for sure. Trying to get the guy underneath them. I want to move Zan. I'm just playing around at this point. I'm not really... So if I res him... So he doesn't protect us. Because he has no allies. But he did him. So that's why I'm confused. Okay, let's just uh let's just rewind the fuck out of that, right? So he's gonna shoot him. Let's look at the actions here. So he's gonna hit him. And then he's gonna be invulnerable. Can I do some cheeky nonsense? We're definitely going to predict a bolt here again. 
And we're gonna have to deal with these guys. Okay, let's see here. How can I wipe this room? So you, madam. You can use the skull. Which hitting either one of those things blows it up and gives mana. I forgot about that. Hold up. So if I do that, I just get two mana? And these don't cast actions. So now he just has two mana that I can play with. That's pretty good. Uh, what are your... You only have the one thing that costs one mana. Okay. But you have this, but I need an action for it. Okay. Now, it makes them invulnerable, so I can't hurt them by throwing them around, you know? Right? Oh, that was something I did last time, was this. So if I do that there... Oh, he didn't attack. So it has to be on someone, right? So if I do that, Zan should kill him. Now he's attacking there. He's gonna die, and he's gonna die first. So now I got nothing to worry about. Because he does two damage, he's gonna take the poison. I don't know if that... At the end of the 4C phase. So if I do in fact do this, I will get hurt and then he will die from poison. Okay. So I do need to do one damage to him. It means I have to do something like this. But I have to move first. So if I go here... And I hit him... I'll just straight up kill him. I only do one damage. So if I hit this guy, he's gonna attack Zan? No, he's still gonna be attacking him. Okay. I need to find a way to do exactly one damage. <laughs> but I have no way of doing such. Because she's the only one with an action. So let's kill him and see who he targets next. Her. Okay. So then I can... I can move her. This guy sedated? No. Because I had to do the other thing. I go over here and grab this intel. Doesn't matter. But now she's taking it, but I can't false profit next to him. Yeah. So he takes the damage there. Zan then can predict it both this way, kill who's ever coming in through there. I think that's the plan. Do I want to move the doctor? Do I want to move Banks anywhere? That's a good question here. I think I move her towards over here. I don't want to be there. I think this is okay. Just for... I don't want to get hit by this, right? So I can't be there. Because I want to use her to blow these up to get more mana that way. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. No, 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 no. I don't know. Zan's the only one, really, that I want to have a plethora of mana on. Jen is also good just to have that six targets instead of the... Uh, the three but I think that's good positioning here so I think we end that ooh that guy's nasty hold up wait a minute it's six enemies with a spectral spell yeah that's not happening so what are we doing here so he's attacking here is he gonna attack him Hold on. No, he doesn't have line of sight. Excellent. So, from here, 
We do that. I guess that works. I kind of wanted that to blow up and give him the mana. So I think I'm going to actually rewind that and move here and then do that. So that it gives her all this nice, juicy mana. Now he's attacking him. But he's only doing one damage. So I do have to find a way to do one damage. And that'll just straight up kill him. And now he's attacking me. And then I can do this. Kill him. I can go here and predictive bolt here again. Oh, it's going to be a big boy. That's a big problem. This right here is going to be a chapel cleanser. Is that what this guy was? I don't remember. I don't remember what the... Uh, there's so many fucking... What's on my who's it's? I think that's fine. Ooh. Ooh, maybe that's a play. If I stand here and then I death's door this, maybe she can knock him into there. That way we just get rid of him. Or right here. Either way. So that'd be a good way to get rid of him. But then I don't have a way to get rid of this big guy. And I'll have to be creative with it. And do damage. But also he's... He's very slow. We can run away from him. So I'm not concerned about that. So let's go ahead and end this turn. Okay, I do see here. He only has three health. So if I do this, I can just straight kill him to where he's not a problem. Maybe I should move beforehand. Maybe if I get over here and then hit him. Never mind. Maybe if I go here and then hit him. Never mind. Maybe if I go here and then hit him. Ah, wah -bah. And then I can move again. First, let's take care of Zan here. So Zan is going. That was quite a bit of damage. I could false profit. I could spam false profits just to get him the fuck out of here, which is cool. I could go back here, which is fine. I kind of do want him coming this way, so maybe that's not the play. Maybe I just get out of his range here. Maybe I just go here and then I shoot him for a little bit of damage and then I predictive bolt this way. And if he comes around this way, Jin can kill him. So let's get her in position to do that. I think right there is good. So yeah, now we've got a trap going. I think that's good. Banks, we can actually move you around here. Let's maybe we can bait him a little more on this side. But uh because that would be the optimal play here, because that's just going to do damage to him, but we'll still have to actually hit him. So, okay, yeah, so that was good. Jin, uh, just destroy him. Goodbye. We're good. Uh, Zan here, let's go ahead and pick up this. And then I think we're good. I think we're golden. We're done. Two of four. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. I actually didn't, uh, I usually have a timer going on, on how long I've been playing, but I forgot to set it back up here. Give me one second. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, all on your own, huh? I'm at the crossover point. There's still heavy resistance, but I might be able to take them. Don't engage. We've got the building. You just need to get across as soon as you can. Doesn't sound like my style. Leave them in the dust. Huh. Fundamentally the same thing, but now I kind of like it. Okay. Interesting here. 
So if I actually redeploy to this door and breach from here, I can straight up kill this man. Holy fuck, he went flying. Absolutely goaded. What is this? The dead drop. Okay, hold on. Do I need a line of sight for this? The swap? It does take one mana. And then honestly, it doesn't really matter. Destroy at least four weapons cache by the end of this turn. I don't really care about that, if I'm being totally honest. So let's just move one here and smack the shit out of this guy. And then we can swap with this guy? No. I don't have a line of sight. Oh, I thought this was a window. Okay, hold up. Rewind that. So actually, if I do this... It doesn't do enough damage. Now I can swap with him. I can use this laptop and then I can move in here. Get out of everyone, collect the intel, and I'm done. Okay, that was easy. That was, uh... I don't care about the weapons cache, but that was, that was a quick one, for sure. So, now what do we got here? I've got the recording, you guys in position? Yeah, and we wouldn't say no to some backup. We, er, uh, might have underestimated how long they can keep sending guys. Good, the more firepower we draw over here, the less they have to gun down our distraction team. The extraction van's almost in range. We can blink out at any time after that. And let's make them sweat as long as we can. Okay, we have a ton of reinforcements here. Keep your ten turn alive until turn four. It is turn one. Let me see here. Survive more than seven turns. And I get everyone's goals. Ooh. In tweaking. So that's unfortunate that I lost all that mana, even though I uh, was kind of hoping it would carry over here. So let's go ahead and breach here. That actually kills him. That's cool. And it didn't do any damage from him. Because he only does one damage. So now... Okay. Do I want someone to be over here? Is the question. Do I want this split or do I want to just swap with this dude over here and just kind of keep him at bay. I don't think that's the play. This guy's coming in for six turns here. I do have these here, which are cool. Let's just, uh, let's just see here. We'll get this guy out. Still won't do any damage. We're going to swap with him now. Maybe. That's just instant there. And then Zan. We definitely want that intel. Doesn't have eyes on him. And we actually want to predict bolt this way, I think. Who's coming in? A shepherd. Yeah, I definitely want to predict about this way, but they have a lot of health, so I'd rather get someone off the board here. And both of them are sending in trackers. So maybe I go here, and I predict about this way? Well, after I use my turn, obviously. Um, so let's rewind that. He can't really do anything from here, right? Because one, we're not attacking his ally, two... Okay, okay, okay. Actually, that might be the play. Hold up. Wait a minute. So if I go here... Oh, I can use my, uh... Gun... To get some more... Uh, mana here on him. Holy shit, I've never had full mana on anyone. 
Uh, then we predicted both this way. Oh, we do have these electrified walls here, which are good. Huh. I could send Jen through the windows over here. Just to like collect mana and stuff, but I don't know if that's the play per se. Banks, I definitely want out of harm's way here. But where is out of harm's way? Is it over here? I do have the sedative cocktail. I can hit him from here. That's insane. Fuck you, asshole. Um, I do have two death's doors here. If I need them, which I probably will. I do have transference left. I have no bodies to resurrect. So I think I'm just going to take cover and stay still. Ooh, I can put down some cover. I think I'll hold on to it just so I can have a better position to use it later. And then Jen. Jen, I'm thinking just stays here. Well, not here specifically, but maybe like right here. Like if she goes here and then he comes up here or here. If he stands in any of these spots, like I can just shoot him at the window, which I think is good. And then I have mana to play with here. So actually, let me do that to get some more mana to play with. And I think that's good. I think I'm set up here. Okay, excellent. Exactly where I wanted you to be. Okay, not where I wanted you to be, actually. So, Zan here, buddy. Buddy guy pal. Can you kill this man? You can. That'll take uh, Banks out of uh, harm's way. And then I can set up another predictive bolt on either side here. Banks, I do want you to hit this guy with the cocktail. Okay, that hurt. Didn't know he uh, had line of sight on me. I should have checked that. Yeah, he totally does. So, maybe now I just block that with a move? Yeah. Doesn't have sight on me. I can do that. It's fine. No one got hurt. Now I can blast him out the fucking window. But he has a shot on me. So that's bad. If I go back here, does he still have a shot on me? He does. Let's continue to experiment here. Still has a shot on me there. I go here, does he have a shot on me? Does not. But will he after he moves? He does indeed. Okay, good to know. So, how do I avoid that, per se? Do I gale grenade this to push him back? I try to block him off there? Or do I throw this here and try to kill him? That's a little much. Uh, Xan, for now, we are going to do this. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, no, rewind that. Can I false profit here? I'll be real. Not at all what I was expecting. I forgot he shot immediately. I thought he was going to stand there and then I could shoot him out and then he would shoot the, the clone. But I can't get over here. 
Because if I can kill this guy and resurrect him, and he can just wreak havoc in that room, that would be grand. I don't necessarily know that that is a option. Let's rewind here. And this is only low barricade. I didn't pick up the, uh, the big one there. So... That only does one damage. But it says he can't shoot me for it. Oh, I forgot Zan had that ability to double shoot. So, now we've taken care of him, Banks is out of danger, and now we have some more stuff to play with here. I do have these resurrections I can play with as well. I think I would like to not resurrect this dude for the time being because Zan is going to predict a bolt that direction. Or I can resurrect this guy here. He's stunned for a turn, kind of blocks that door, and then Zan can predictive bolt the other way here for some bullshittery. You can go here, and then you can go here. Oh, but I need the sedative to kill him. I need the sedative to, to push him. So maybe I just do this. No damage there, and then I just use the Gale Grenade to, to send him out. No, I can't do that. Yes, I can. Okay, so that works. I'm just gonna constantly get sniped by this dude and have to position myself accordingly. Oh, there's a big dude. Riot Priest, that's gonna be my, uh, my downfall here. So maybe I position over here? Or over here? Just for a larger line of sight here. He's definitely going to either go for you or you. I think if I go here, I can actually get him to bait over to Doll. I think that's the play. I think we're done here. Okay. Now we have a ton of more problems. <laughs> Actually, actually fucking horrible not having someone over here. Wish I could block off this somehow. And honestly, if I bait, if I move everyone over here to this position, we won't have to worry about it. But that position there really limits our potential here. So he was, who is he shooting at? I don't even see who he's shooting at. He's not even shooting, technically. Epic. So, we can actually status blast this guy. Oh, but he has... Damn. So, if I do this... No, that's going to do two damage. That's too much. Or is it one damage each? It is one damage each. Okay, it is one damage each. That's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, why didn't that do damage? I'm a fucking moron. That's why. So, Zan has to do some damage here. Zan can actually come over here and do some damage and not get hit. Never mind. Uh, can he get line of sight on this guy if I go over here? He can. But one of the guys already has line of sight on him, so we can go here instead, maybe? Doesn't seem like it. Damn, I'm literally one tile away from being safe. That is unfortunate. 
Hmm, that is quite unfortunate. Maybe I go here instead. Still don't have line of sight. I'm gonna rewind, maybe going back here. Maybe he won't have line of sight on me. I actually don't have line of sight on him anymore. So let's try the corner. I do have line of sight on him and both of them cannot see me. Oh, I'm not even aiming at that guy right now. I'm an idiot. So, so back here is fine. Cause I'm aiming for this guy. I just realized I'm stupid. So there we go. There's that. Everything's fine. I do have the time boost. I have tons of time boosts I can uh, dish out here. I can do the sensor, which gets rid of his. Okay, that's good. Now Banks can move over here and throw a sedative over there. Okay, I guess didn't realize she was able to get hit. So let's actually go into this corner where she's completely safe, hopefully, maybe. Who the fuck is shooting him? Who the fuck is shooting her? Hold on. No, 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 no. Who has fucking line of sight on her? Am I stupid? Am I not seeing it? This guy doesn't. This guy doesn't. Who the fuck is hitting him? I didn't even see this dude. How did I not see this dude? I didn't even fucking notice this dude standing here. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do here. Not a whole heck of a lot. If I do that, she's gonna get hit. Yeah, they're gonna have line of sight on that for sure. If I... Chain lightning that. But I need the sedative to get him moving far, far enough. How much knockback does this do? This only does two. Oh, but that one also does two. Ooh, but I can transfer over here now. So I can get rid of his invulnerability there. I can knock him back. That knocks him back. Actually, undo that one. Hold on. So if I static black this guy to this guy to this guy. No, 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 no. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Where the hell was I? What did I undo here? Okay. I actually don't see what I undid. So anyway, we're going to go. Okay, I think it's time to just. I think it's time to do the uh, the surge here or the, the time boost. So I'm going to go this one, this one. And then I can do this guy here. I can do this guy here and this guy here. And then I can hit this guy here. Okay. Jen got hurt. But that seemed to have been a good play if I played it a little bit differently. So she, he's actually getting blocked by both of these guys right here. So actually, if I do this, 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 this? Ah, oh, damn it. You had a line of sight again. Okay. Shit. So let me actually just move over a block. Will that be fine? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Nobody got hurt. We got rid of that guy. Nobody got hurt. Zan, you're gonna time booster. 
she is going to send that motherfucker flying. Which hurt her, so we're gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna lightning bolt again. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. That was actually might have been a play. Hold on. So if I do this guy, I do this guy, I do this guy. No, it's not a good angle. Damn. She needs more mana. Why can't I target that specifically? Yeah, no, that's not the play. I need him to get off of the line of sight with her. Or... I need Doll to be in a better position. Okay, so this guy's back. I gotta, I gotta make sure I do all of that again, but from a different angle here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this guy is the guy I'm concerned with. So. Actually, if I just blast this guy, oh, he'll have line of sight on me. So if I go, if I, shit, I have to move. Will this guy have line of sight on me here if I do this? Oh, now I don't have line of sight ahead of him. Fuck me, man. Zan. Zan, you're the man with the plan. You're a master man. So that got rid of him. That's exactly what I wanted. I just needed to get rid of that guy so that now you can hit him with the sedative with no consequence. Then Jin can blast the shit out of some motherfuckers without having to move. Oops, I fucked that up. What did I rewind here? I don't think I rewinded anything. I think I just canceled out of that. I don't even know. But I can just straight up do this, but I'll get hit from this dude. But this guy doesn't attack me if I'm attacking him. So maybe doing this is the play and then Zan can time booster and then you can go. No, he still has an angle. Oh, but this actually kills him. So I can go here, I can go here, I can go here and then here and then here. Holy shit, that worked. And she got mana. Oh my god. Oh my god, that worked. Hold on. <laughs> so this guy actually isn't a problem on this side of the board, I think. He there's no way he can get to us, correct? I believe. Uh Zane, you're gonna oh, I can't predictive bolt that way. I should have moved him there, but I don't want to go back and do all that. So I'm just going to ignore it. I'm actually just going to do this. I'll do this. That way, if he walks through me, he dies and it doesn't go to a side. 
And then if this guy comes out and walks this way, he's dead. So it's a it's a kind of two for trap, relatively. Uh, I do have some shit here I could do, maybe, hopefully. Not really a big deal. Uh, you can move, but I like you there, <laughs> like a lot to protect Jin. So I think maybe we actually just go back here. No, that's that blocks his predictable. So I think this is actually fine. Actually, no, because I can go here and still block that path, right? Maybe, maybe if Jen moves there behind him. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good line. So that's fine. I think you're good and done. I think you're good and done. Zan's good and done. Let's move on. This is stupid. I love it. This is actually very stupid and I love it. Um, uh, Is this dumb? I feel like this is dumb and I love it. Because I can do this and then charge in. And then I just get shot once here with no damage. This problem takes care of itself. Because I believe if he attacks him, then he'll shoot him for one damage and die. So I think that's clear. In fact, maybe I want to resurrect this guy too. And honestly, maybe I kind of want to fucking... I kind of want to get her in here to resurrect on this side. Fuck, what's the range on this, dude? Not very far, actually. She can't resurrect anyone over there. So that's cool. I think... That's fine. I can't throw shit over there, though. But that would be dangerous for me specifically, for Banks specifically. Maybe I can get a cheeky wall bang here. That'll kill him and make him invulnerable, invulnerable, I mean. It only bounces once. And how much does that do? That does one damage, so it wouldn't even kill him. Let's try it. That seems pretty consequence free. This does cost one mana, but okay, so I have to have one mana in reserve to use it. And then honestly, I can just go here and grab that mana so that I have it available. I think that's a good play. It's turn four, we can leave, but I have four more turns I can do. Do I want to though? No, this episode's gone on way longer than I anticipated. So I think that's good. You're done. You haven't gone. So maybe I do some damage over here, maybe. No. I can do this. Let's see what happens there. That's fine. That problem will take care of itself. Now he's backed up a little more, so he shouldn't have good angles over here anymore. This guy took a little bit of damage. It was okay. I don't know what his plan is, though. I could move, but that's like such a good position to be in. Oh, I can just shoot him. 
That's fair. I can predict a bolt again this way. You, I think you're good. You're good, you're good. That's good. Blink out when you're ready. Blinks out, ready. Let's go. Or we could keep pounding them till our fists bleed. Two valid choices. Interesting indeed. We can blink out at any time here. I feel like, I feel like we can go three more turns, but do I want to? Do I care about all this confidence? Not really. I'll be honest, let's go. I gotta blink them all out individually. Goodbye, fam. We're done, we're out. Holy shit. A little bit of a long episode, especially with this final room here. 30 minute, god damn, that's an episode in itself. Hey, infiltrate the church, complete. Get doll to the chapel of the closed fist, complete. Retrieve the recording, complete. Leave the militarized zone discreetly, possible if this was not sufficiently stressed to Jin. Okay. Look at that. We got some pork, pork, pork changed in. Uh, let's see what we want here. Two knockback to the final target. Chaining through friendlies, including yourself, refunds the action costs once per turn. That's amazing. So I can do that and then do this still. Don't even need to read anything else, in my opinion. Okay, it looks like uh, nothing there. Plus one. Intercept. If the target is pushed into the tile in front of the portal, it will pull them in. That's good. Big head. The skull is wider, making it easier to hit targets. Plus one damage. Stings. All targets also take one damage from in on impacts. Plus one unsteady to the central target. Plus one set it to all targets. Genius Grant. If the Protect E is an enemy or a victim of uh, is the ally is an ally. Your use is refunded when the transfer happens. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think. Don't know if that'll work like relatively often. Uh, the victim, if the victim is an enemy, they gain plus one on steady when the link is created. Okay. So not really anything super interesting here. I think the intercept is good, interesting, but I think the, maybe the drowsy or the stings uh, really would be beneficial here. I'm thinking the stings, because if that does one damage to everyone in a, in a area, that's pretty fucking good. Let's confirm that. Uh, we still have one outfit here to... Oh, we got the Urban Arcanist. Cool. But then that's it. Let's go back to the Wiz Tech, though. Wiz Tech. I really like the Wiz Tech. Uh, well, we'll slap that on there. I'm kind of... Kind of looking for a, a different thing here. Just cool. Okay. Well, this has gone on way longer than expected. Uh, so let's just go here. Let's take a look. And I will see you in the next one. Holy crap. I'm so sorry it was so long, but goddamn, do we get through it. Have a good one.